it seemed like we, we, we got to the point where we were talking about C13 NMR, or nearly, nearly done, as I recall. Um, and what this is is a slide of two butanone run under two different C13 NMR conditions. One where the peaks have been decoupled completely, and so we're only just seeing a single peak for each kind of carbon. And then the spin coupling with the hydrogen is shown above. And we talked about this technique where one, simply by irradiating the protons with a strong signal, we can get them resonating, and they lose their ability to split with the carbons, and that's what we see here. If we tune that down or tone that down somewhat, we get to see a little bit of splitting. And that's what's shown in the top one. So each carbon is split by its own hydrogen. So this CH3 will be split into a quartet, which we see, that's probably this one right here. We see the CH2 being split, should be split into a triplet. That's going to be pretty, that's going to be fairly close to that guy. So that's this guy right here. You see this CH3 downfield somewhat, split into a quartet. And finally, the carbonyl carbon is down here quite a bit downfield because of its proximity to the carbonyl oxygen. That makes sense? It seemed like we got to this slide last time, and we were kind of rushing through it. The only things left in the slides are the fact that this technique is used in medical research, um, where, and it used to be called NMR. But because people got alarmed about the term nuclear, they, they call it magnetic resonance imaging now, or MRI. But it's used because the biological substances, particularly those involved in unhealthy processes, actually have an NMR signal we can detect. And so we can actually see tumors and a variety of other things with MRI uh, or magnetic resonance imaging. And for example, in this particular image of a head, the other side of the room. human brain, we can see the presence of the tumors with this technique. And the, the thing that's nice about this is it's a non-invasive technique. I don't need to go in, to, I don't need to slice into the brain in order to see this. Um, I, can, I can do this from the outside. Okay? And that, of course, is the value. And then there's one gratuitous pelvic scan here. Um, there you go. <laughs> All right. Now, I had a comment on who 